Eurosense fuel flow meter installation on the diesel engine. In case when we do not want to change the standard fuel supply scheme, we use the differential fuel flow meter Eurosense Delta. It is designed to measure the volume of fuel passing through the supply and return lines and determine the difference between them. The feed and return chambers are labeled F, feed, and R, return, on the housing. For the installation you will need fuel flow meter, mounting kit, universal adapter Eurosense Destination 02 or 02 light, manual automotive tools, wrenches, screwdrivers, fuel hose of 4-5 meters length with internal diameter corresponding the diameter of mounting kit connectors. By default, it is 10 millimeters. At first, we have to find a place for the fuel flow meat installation. It is not recommended to install a flow sensor on vehicle components that are subject to strong vibration and heat. Preferable flow meter position horizontal. Identify fuel supply and fuel return lines. During installation, keep fuel lines clean. If fuel flow meter has got stuck, you can disassemble it and clean according to the Our Service Manual. We disconnect the fuel lines that are connected to the high pressure fuel pump, the supply of fuel from the fine filter, and the return line together with the bypass valve 8. The entrance of the supply chamber is connected to the outlet of the fine filter, the output of the feed chamber with the entrance to the high-pressure fuel pump. The output from the pump is connected to the input of the chamber of fuel flow meters return, labeled R. We connect the output of the return chamber using the previously extracted bypass valve 8 with a fuel line, return line 3 to the tank. To test the fuel flow meter, connect it to the Eurosense Delta Configurator software with the help of Eurosense Destination 02 adapter and start the engine. On the Values tab, we will see the graph of instant engine fuel consumption. If the graph is in the negative part of the scale, it means that it is necessary to swap the input and output connectors of the fuel flow meter. In addition to fuel consumption, Eurosense fuel flow meters also determine the mode of the engine's operation. The settings for determining the operating mode can be set for each specific engine. It makes it possible to determine correctly and transfer to the monitoring system the fuel consumption in partial modes, idling, nominal, in case of overload, and also to fix intervention. The installation is successful if the resulting flow is not permanently negative. Short periods are possible when the engine's fuel consumption is negative, but in general it should be in a positive area. If the flow rate in the return line is constantly higher than the flow rate in the supply line when properly connected, check for air bubbles in the return line. In this case, you will need to install a deaerator. After checking the operation of the fuel meter, we connect it to the GPS tracker or display. Description of the wires is in the passport, which is included in the package of each sensor. Eurosense fuel meters have several possible interfaces. Pulse output, the simplest one, but you will need to count pulses by your data logging device and transform them in fuel data. More advanced are serial, RS-485 and RS-232 interfaces, as well as CAN bus. Eurosense Delta RS fuel flow meters support Modbus protocol, so you can read a lot of parameters from meter, not only fuel consumption, when connected by Modbus protocol. Here is an example of Modbus settings made in Datalogger. Or you can use Eurosales Delta CAN model, which is compatible with CAN SAE J1939 protocol and already supported by many GPS trackers. At the end of the installation, do not forget to seal the electrical and fuel connections.